Okay, we got a Magnum Power Beyond coupler. Uh, currently, case is discontinued or certainly back on this part. And the kit's been discontinued for a long time, but um, we used to always just sell the coupler here. But and, and most times, if we have a fire, that's the way it has to be sold. But um, this one here, this had a light cab fire. We pulled the cab. So perfect time to get some uh, other information so it looks like that there's three lines that are required for this kit now I can be wrong there but based on what I'm looking at here so these lines snake through the remote valves and the small one goes in the side here I have no idea what that goes what that side is and then it continues on so I don't know if that line is needed all the way to the front or if it just stops here so further investigation so to be determined but currently we're going to say we're going to include this line here this line uh, second line here also comes in and tees into the front of this uh, hitch your rock shaft not rock shaft but hitch valve maybe whatever the manifold hitch manifold and then the third comes over and tees into here i don't know that all that other lines all the way up would have to be replaced but we'll figure that out uh maybe go to a tractor didn't have it on it and of course where we're seeing this is some of this stuff is going to be standard on these newer models and it's the older models you need an example is I had a customer ask the other day he thought he had to have the manifold I've never seen that never sold one with it but maybe if you have a old enough tractor maybe an MX as an example if those are things that we need to keep the hitch manifold with or maybe all of these fittings up through here we can do that it's just rare that we get them so we'll probably keep it on this one here just to make sure and we'll learn going forward and see what we find out so we'll put all of our part information with this so we can reference it and you can reference it and if we can help you out let us know